I'm Anil Kumar and in this example, we will model a real life situation. The question is, a candle burns at a constant rate of 2 cm per hour. The candle is 6 cm tall when it is first lit. Graph a line representing the situation. Explain the meaning of intercepts, why the slope is negative for this graph. Determine length of the candle after 90 minutes. So let's understand what the real question is. The question says, a candle burns at a constant rate of 2 centimeters per hour. It means its height is decreasing at the rate of 2 centimeters per hour. So we are given rate of decrease kind of, do you see? Which is 2 centimeter per hour. Right? Rate is same as slope for us when we talk about line, which you could say is m for us, right? Which degrees translates to minus 2 centimeter per hour. So that's the meaning of a candle burns at a constant rate of 2 centimeters per hour. The candle is 6 centimeter tall when it is first lit. So that means when t equals to 0, when time is 0, at that time the height of the candle or length of the candle is equals to 6 centimeter. That is what it means, right? Now, graph a line representing this situation. Now, to graph this line, we have to define our variables. So, let us say along the x-axis, we have time. So, we'll put, instead of x, we'll put t in hours, right? Along the x-axis. And on the y-axis, we will put length of the candle in centimeters. So, time is independent variable and length is dependent on time in this particular case. Now, to begin with, says candle is 6 cm tall. So, that means at t equals to 0, length of the candle is 6 cm. So, we get that point. This happens to be the y-intercept, right? So, t is 0, length of the candle is 6 cm. We'll call it L-intercept since L is the independent variable here, right? Then it says, it burns at a constant rate of 2 hours. That means every hour, the length decreases by 2 centimeters. So every hour, it decreases by 2 centimeters. So one hour, 2 centimeters. Another hour, another 2 centimeters. Another hour, another 2 centimeters. Another hour, will it go negative? Hmm, this is what we have to think about. Okay, let's stop there for the time being. So basically what we see here is that these dots represent length of the candle with time. Let me join them first. Should I extend or not? That is the question for you. Now what happens at this time? This time is 3 hours and at 3 hours, what is the length? Length is 0. That means there is no more candle. So it cannot go negative. In real life situations, normally you'll find that we will not have negative values for time and for length or height, right? In normally, right? There could be situations when we talk about depth in a sea level or something like that. That's a different story. Now, in this particular case, it has no meaning going beyond three hours, right? Since now the candle is zero, right? The height of the candle or the length of the candle is zero. Okay. Anyway, graph a line representing the situation. We just did it. You could do it by calculating a um, table of values, making a table of values. For example, you can say T and length of the candle. Starting value is 2 centimeters. Every hour, oh sorry, 6 centimeters. And every hour it decreases by 2, right? So it'd be 6 minus 2, that is 4. Second, 4 minus 2, 2. Third, 2 minus 2, 0. You get these points and you could do like that also, right? So that's an alternate way of doing it. I prefer the way we did, right? Straight on the graph, correct? Now let's get back to the other parts of this question. This was our part A. Explain the meaning of intercepts. So there are two intercepts here. 
first intercept we'll call as L intercept. Simply because variable along the independent variable is L, right? Now what is the meaning of L intercept 6? It gives you initial length of the candle. Initial length of candle. How about the T intercept? Now T intercept is the time when the length of the candle is zero, right? So it's a time when the candle burns out. Or the length is zero, right? At that time, length is zero. Perfect. So that is the significance of these two intercepts. So one gives you the initial value. The other gives you, in this case, the final time when the whole candle burns out. Why the slope is negative for this graph? Slope is negative since the rate shows a decrease in the length. So whenever there is any decrease, you will find the slope to be negative. Now the question is determine length of the candle after 90 minutes. Now 90 minutes means how many hours? We should convert that to hours since time is in hours. 60 minutes in, is an hour. So we can do 90 divided by 60. That gives us 1.5 hours. So in this, here is 1, 1 hour and 1.5. So as per the graph, we can go up like this and come to a value. It seems it will be 3, right? So we can say, well, the length in this case is 3 centimeters. So this is one way of doing it. The alternate way of doing it is to find the equation, right? We can always find the equation. Let me write down the equation and then also do using the equation. We know the y-intercept or l-intercept is 6 and slope is minus 2, right? So we can write this equation as l equals to minus 2, variable is t, plus 6. Now for t equals to 90 minutes, which is 1.5 hours, we can say l equals to minus 2, 1.5 hours plus 6. That is minus 3 plus 6 and that is equals to 6. And therefore, length equals to 3 centimeter after 90 minutes. Is it okay? So that's an alternate way of doing it. That's algebraic method. So I hope with this you understand this particular application and you should be in a position to do similar questions. Thank you and all the best.